Hello everyone, Ray here. Here we have the first ever Pixel phone directly from Google. It is made in Taiwan, but there's only a tiny G logo down there, so it's by Google. Now I've used this phone for more than 24 hours, so here's my thought and first impression on the next-gen Google phone. First and foremost, the packaging. This lovely quite black Pixel XL sitting here. The coolness of the metal chassis is fantastic, especially when the phone has never been touched before. Let's go. Here we have the SIM ejector. By the way, this time Google has finally decided to give us a USB-C to the old-fashioned one with a reasonable length. Oh, and we have an adapter down there as well. It definitely worth a like, a USB on-the-go adapter. It is now included in the retail packaging, just like the Note 7. And there we have a 5V 3M, 9V 2M, quick charge 3.0 ready wall adapter. It requires a USB-C, two USB-C cable to charge our latest Pixel phone. We can't complain too much on that, Google has given us two cables, brilliant. Now moments of the truth. Every single piece of material that we will be able to touch is premium. We have glass on the back, glass on the front, and aluminium for the rest of the chassis. The design on the back does look weird on photos, but in reality it works much better than I expected. The aluminium casing is very cool to touch, slippery at the same time. While the glass panel adds some characteristic to the phone as well as better signal reception. If we take a closer look, the bottom part of the phone is ever so slightly thinner than the upper part. The slope is so gentle that most people won't even notice after using it for a whole year. But it is there. Well, I also do notice the AMOLED display here is super bright. Outdoor visibility is terrific. One more design thing, both glass panels are meeting the metal chassis completely smooth, without any plastic frame or cushion design. The build quality is top notch. Then the software, the Pixel Excel is running the latest Android 7.1 Nougat out of the box with no bloatware at all, together with the latest and greatest chipset, the Snapdragon 821. This phone is crazy fast and smooth. I do notice the Pixel XL handles large games, not as quick as the iPhone 7 Plus. But on the Android territory, it is the king in raw performance. OK, Google. How can I get to the British Museum from Canary Wharf by public transport? Now the smarter, we engineered Google Voice Command System. The Google Assistant is much smarter indeed. Not only does it open apps according to our commands, but also search for information like from Canary Wharf to the British Museum on Google Map, even by public transport, as I questioned. I will definitely test out what's the limit for Google Assistant later on. Stay tuned for the full review. The camera on the Pixel XL is also undoubtedly one of the most important selling points of the phone. Based on my experience, it's blazing fast. It launches in milliseconds and focus immediately when the camera has been pointed at the object. I will certainly do an in-depth camera review, as always. But for now, what really surprised me is the EIS. I am shaking the phone on purpose, but it holds up really well. The video is not shaky at all. The Pixel XL takes unbelievably stable footages, even in extreme environments. If I hold it still, it becomes rock stable. There we have it, my very first impression on the Pixel XL after 24 hours. If you want to know more about the Pixel XL as well as Google vs Apple, get subscribed and stay tuned.